in that first seeder, we put in some faker data, but we noticed in here that we have additional records and I wanna run it each time and only create one record for now. I don't wanna see these previous records. So to do that, I'm gonna write some code to delete a record. So I can use the DB facade. So I'll say DB colon colon and then table. And then the table name that I wanna reference, which is people. And then I wanna reference the method delete. And I believe that's the right code. I might need to look that one up, but let's see, let's run it and see what happens. So we'll say our DB colon C and looks like it was the right code and it has now deleted that value. So we can see DB table and then uh, people and then delete. So that's a real easy way to go and delete uh, an individual set of records. Now in your tables, they might be getting more complex when you set up relationships where people might have multiple addresses or people have multiple businesses and you might have uh, foreign key relationships. Well, if that's the case, things like this might not work and you might need to loop through a for each loop to get rid of each one. So basically loop through the for each loop for the given current records, find the other model that's in reference to it, delete that model, and then delete the uh, individual or person in that case. Uh, so sort of see how, you, how that plays together uh, again when it becomes a little bit more complex than just a simple table. But for now, we just have one simple table, pretty easy to go in there and delete um, the values. So now we've set this up, I wanna finish out the rest of these fields and show you how that kind of works. So I'm gonna just grab Faker here for business and I'm gonna just kind of go in here and reference very quickly. So I'm gonna try to say in business and here's a Faker Businesses and it comes up with a company name and I can get a company identification number here. So Faker Company, this is business, business identification number is not gonna do it for me. Let's do business. Yeah, that might not work out. It says, it says I'm getting company, but I don't know what KKKZ is. K-A-G-E, it's like a payment thing. This is a bank account number. This is, uh, so this is Jap, you can get like a Japanese, looks like. Uh, here's a, it's an IT company, so VAT ID. Hmm. So maybe we need to look, instead of business, we're gonna try for company name. And sometimes, uh, so here we have company. Sometimes it may not be an exact title or, or, or the value that you're thinking it should be. So here's a company and it's a US company and this apparently is the company name. So we'll go and reference company name here. So we can say uh, faker and then using that object syntax company. And there's one above it, which was job title. And I preferred that over the title, which was like Miss or Mr. I think it's more interesting by using the company name based on our CRM system that we wanna create. Here we have a phone number. So let's just do fine for phone. And I just do command F and I'll type in phone. And so uh, here's adding providers. We don't need to do that just yet. And here's phone number. And that looks like it. we just say faker phone number. So we'll just say dollar sign faker phone number. And then we have email, and that's probably just fake or email. So we can just say email in here. And then we have address. That's our first one here. I'm going to say it's address. And then I can search for this. And uh, look, it says Faker Street Address. So that's, that's it. this is the exact block we want right here. So Faker Street Address. And then they have a city. So I'm going to grab this code go over to where it says city and change this to city. So you can see here we're referencing city. They have a postcode. So we'll paste this in here where it says postcode to the zip code area. They have a faker state, that's pretty easy. So we'll go in here where the state is. Now that state value might not be um, uh, abbreviated state, that might be something else. So we might need to check that out. Now we need a second street address. So, so let's see if we can go and find that street address and see if there's anything else. So we have a street address, we have a street name, we have a suffix, we have a building number and a street name. Here's a state abbreviation. That's exactly what we want. So let's switch this one out to say state abbreviation. And then here we still need that address too. And I wanna make something for it. So. There's a building number and maybe we can make something with the building number. So here's apartment and I'm gonna say the building number 
and do a concatenation for this one. So I'm going to say dollar sign faker and then using that object syntax, the building number. So give me apartment number and then it'll get me the building number. That one's good. And then we have photo down here and you can search for image here and they have, they're using lorem pixel for this. And lorem pixel, if you're not familiar with, it takes pretty simple URLs here. It's http lorem pixel dot com so 640 by 480 and these are the size that you want and then here's the value you want to search for so if i was to grab this and paste this in the url it'll return back a picture of a cat now that's pretty easy if you just want to grab like placeholder pictures or things like this now know that every time you hit this you might get a different picture and that might become an issue as we put in fake data so i'm going to try to find uh see if i can get anything from person and didn't come back with anything that time. Didn't come back with anything that time either. So maybe I can say uh, human and see if I get anything with human. And I didn't get anything with human either. If you go to laurenpixel.com, they give you some samples here of things that you might want to generate based on. So it was people was an option, and then I can specify this the size, and I can specify if I want color or not based on it. and you can see it just brought in a person here so it looks like people will work but person does not work so we'll grab this url for now and i'm going to just send it to this here so that's i could do this two ways i could use this here as an option or i could use the actual value and it's pretty much doing the same kind of thing um uh, here it's a, it's a no randomized image is defaults true so it, you can turn that on and off based on what you kind of want to set this up with um, and uh, here uh, we can pass in the directory and the temp and then store that file. Uh, so maybe that's something we want to do. For now, I just want to do the image URL uh, instead of going and passing that. So I'll just grab this one here, which is image width and height, and then it's cats. And so we'll say uh, image faker image URL the width I'm gonna say that the width is maybe just 150 I don't need anything very large 150 by 150 and this is people so now at this point I can run this it should only create one record and we'll say rdb colon seed uh oh person variable unexpected syntax error so it looks like I made a mistake somewhere um, there's a semicolon semicolon right there let's see if that was the only one We'll ref up. Oh, looks like it's good. We seeded it. Now, if we refresh, we got all new data here. That worked pretty good. Apartment five six six zero seven, and here's the name. Uh, tire builder. That's an interesting uh, profession for sure. Uh, we have the photo here and the created at and updated at and the zip code. So that's all set up. Now, things like this. This isn't going to be perfect, right? You're not going to find a zip code that's in California and an address that's in California for all that to match up. Now, if you do need that, I suggest you get addresses, pull them from an API that has just addresses in California or something like that, um, and then put them in an array and then loop through the array as a for each for every time you need it. And then you can get exactly the data you need. So it all kind of depends on how you need that set up. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can make uh, a bunch of these instead of just one.